Let's begin with a quick warm-up, shall we? Check the Soliton radar on the upper right and head to the point marked on the display. You can jump over obstacles, but the ninja run will get you across them more quickly and easily. You can also attack while in motion with the ninja run, you know. Swinging your blade while dashing, for example, or striking your foes with a sliding attack. run a basic battle diagnostic. Try and neutralize all the enemies that appear. Bring light and strong hits together to perform combination attacks. Combat is not all offense, however. You also need to protect yourself. First, follow the direction of the enemy's attack. Parry those attacks by executing light attacks of your own in the same direction. This is how you parry. It is the keystone of your defense. as close as possible and parry their blows to leave them exposed to counter-attack. From your perspective, it will appear as if the enemy is frozen in time or at least moving very slowly. This is the perfect opportunity for you to carefully aim your strike, then slice your foe apart. Keep in mind, even you will not be able to parry every type of attack. Watch your foe's movements carefully. Get up. <laughs> so far in just three short years. The sign of a strong leader, sir. No. The will of a strong people. <laughs> and one very able advisor. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well. Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. 
We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm, a soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. What is happening? Someone's blocking the lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the road! This is official state business! to your solid down radar. Right, it's on the other side of that barricade. Ah! 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 
Jack. What do you want with the Prime Minister? I want him dead. Nothing personal, of course. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? This is your answer. <laughs> Don't do it! Don't worry now. I won't. Not while he's still useful. <sighs> so long.
wide open! Rochot, very good! But do not rest easy just yet, huh? He's on the other side of that collapsed building. Go! Ninja van to move over obstacles automatically. Do not let him out of your sight. You must catch him.
He's headed for the front of the train. After him. Raiden, an unidentified field roader is headed your way. Keep an eye out for it.
when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. <laughs> Lucky devil. so good. I've got a clean visual. A direct beat to your optic nerve. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovaric. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raikou? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? The combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three miles out, closing. No 
activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick briefing. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government, or what's left of it anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolceyev, leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier, none other than Desperado Enforcement, LLC. Oh. Imani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sand. I believe you've met. <sighs> The only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country, but keep an eye out, Justin. No. Oh. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. You landed safely, da? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your Solitan radar. Contact us on Codec if you have questions. are using stealth cable to ambush you. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you, eh? To parry incoming hits, throw out your own barrage of light attacks while your foe is on the offensive. Had your fill? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where'd Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. 
people who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Damn. It's a bit cold, Raiden. Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. This is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. Hostiles in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them, or approach from behind. Take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good.
Very good, Raiden. Now, keep heading for refinery. Now, keep heading for refinery. Now, keep heading for refinery.
picking up a wireless transmission near your position. Uh. From the frequency, most likely an enemy data terminal. Check it out. We may be able to salvage some intel. Stealth craft made it back to Sochi all right? Da. Safe and sound. No repairs necessary. Some routine maintenance and she'll be as good as new. Good to hear. I'm guessing that thing doesn't come cheap. Well, an old Soviet army friend gave me discount. He runs a PMC specializing in airborne warfare. An air force for hire? <laughs> That's a new one. Ever since SOP, Merck started to fill more and more regular combat duties. SOP ended, but the trend did not. Most every modern military relies on PMC support in one way or another. Good news for Maverick, I suppose. Anyway, that's quite the little jet your friend has. I was expecting a lot of turbulence coming in that low. But she was smooth as silk. Didn't feel like I was a bird, exactly. But probably the next best thing. The MQ-133C uses a brand new type of active adjustment control system. Sensors on the plane take readings 120 times a second, and uh, to be honest, I don't know how it works. But the crew chief tells me this is what keeps her flying so steady. It is all state-of-the-art technology. There are only three of them in the entire world. Even the RQ-133 spy plane she is based on is only two years old. It is fitted specially for Cyborg, so maybe demand is a bit low now, but I think that will change soon, eh? Hmm. It's funny. Its guts are all bleeding edge, but from the outside, it looks almost retro. Until recently, stealth aircraft design was focused on radar absorbing materials and improving aerodynamics. But lately, engineers are trying to use the shape of the craft to do more than improve gas mileage. Maneuverability is a low priority. This kind of plane is not meant for dogfighting, after all. And we can afford all this? I hate to ask, but will we clear a profit on this op? You need not worry about such things, but yes, we should be fine. Where the proper equipment can make or break a mission, we should have the best. That miss with the anti-air missile last month was a painful reminder of this lesson. Ah, uh, yeah. I see what you mean. Looks like a war zone out here. The palace cleared out quick when Dolzaev's men showed up. The streets got pretty hot after that. We're definitely gonna see a few civilian casualties here. Luckily, it looks like most of them got out of the city before things got bad. They've basically got control of the entire town, and are using the refinery as their HQ. And that's why we're hitting the plant. Keep in mind, those cyborgs are contractors. For most of these guys, this is just a job. In theory, once you eliminate their commanding officer, they should scatter pretty quickly. How we doing, Courtney? You're looking good on our end. GPS and audio-visual feed coming in fine. Energy consumption, check. Damage levels, check. Blood pressure, brain waves, blood sugar, check, check, check. All this monitoring equipment, I got a better view than if I was standing right next to you. Anyway, I'll be saving all your data automatically anytime something important happens in the field. But contact me anytime you want a manual save. Copy that. Good to hear that hasn't changed with this new body. Yep, the basic system's exactly the same. So, did you want to save? And save complete. Simple, huh? Copy. And glad to hear you're okay after Africa. That ambush was no joke. <sighs> Tell me about it. Three armored vehicles should have been plenty for that job. And it would have been against any typical guerrilla force. I keep asking myself, where would an anti imani faction get the cash to hire cyborgs? It just doesn't add up. Maybe there's some intel I missed. A lead I should have followed up on. Maybe if I reacted faster or coordinated better. I don't know. You can't think that way, Courtney. Not in this business. You did everything you could. Put it behind you and move on. <sighs> You're right. Thanks. Titan, shall we review the capabilities of your new body? Copy that. Go ahead, Doc. As we discussed, you've been outfitted with two revolutionary new abilities. 
fuel electrolyte absorption, and self-repair from C's nano paste. Precisely. First, electrolyte absorption. This is simplicity itself. As your HF blade is linked directly to your fuel cells, simply cut into any source of electrolytes. Say, a hostile cyborg made up of CNT muscle fiber. And your fuel cells will recharge on their own. Rather elegant, wouldn't you say? I would indeed. It's been great so far. But, ah, the repair process is a bit more uh, involved. A bit more uh, messy, you might say. Most military cyborg models store a cache of biotic self-repair nanopaste in their lower abdomen. So I need to slice them open and use Zandatsu to extract it. Cut and take, in other words. Correct. Once extracted, you need only to crush this unit in your hand to absorb the repairing agent inside. Keep in mind, it is extremely delicate. If the unit should hit the ground, some paste will surely leak out. It will still repair your body, but less so than if you can retrieve it directly before your foe falls over. Basically, harvest their organs before their body can even hit the ground. Rather gruesome, I realize. But then you Americans enjoy a bit of gore, don't you? I may be a citizen, but I've never really thought of myself as American. Oh? Hmm. Well, yes, I suppose I could understand that, given your history. But what then? Surely you don't identify as a Liberian. I don't identify with anyone. No nation. No ethnic group. I'm my own man. Anyway, I seem to recall those gory torture porn movies were pretty popular in Germany, too. Indeed, indeed. These splatter films are big in Germany, Russia, Japan, everywhere. Well, everywhere except regions afflicted by actual warfare. It all has to do with taming our fears, you know? Huh? The desire to feel fear, to taste death, but from a safe distance. These films allow the viewer to delude themselves into thinking they have overcome their fears. This... Okay, uh, okay, Doc. I got the gist. Let's save the full psych lecture for some other time, though, huh? the meaning of life. Why are we here? I am here to kill you. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate!